Hi, this is Lucy, and today I'm going to show you how to build this tiny castle or keep. For this build, you will need catwalks and a flamer trap. If this is something that you are interested in, please stay tuned. So I wanted to build a tiny castle. I had intended originally to do it three by three, but the difficulty with having this section only one tile wide was roofs because it would have meant using using these roofs um i have got this one the felt one but again just didn't think it was right for the build if you want to do it that's fine i mean i do find it annoying that this is the base roof set and it came with all these variants um but apart from a one-off where they gave us this felt version every other roof set that we've got has not come with any of those variants so yeah we have one tower with crenellations those are the bits on top that go up and down <laughs> and uh, so I tried to keep with a kind of medieval theme which was difficult <laughs> So it's not overly decor decorated. I tried to put an axe on here, but it wouldn't go. The only um, display it would go on is the kind of the pin board one. And I just didn't think it was right for the build. I put my cooker in the fire again. I seem to keep building really kind of old historical stuff at the moment. I actually have a Viking longhouse that I'm working on as well at the moment. So... Maybe I'll do some modern stuff after that. There is no electricity in this camp. I've used these wall torches. Obviously, I have my obligatory suit of armour. Kind of have a kitcheny area around here. This is the bedroom. I wanted some flowers, so I, <laughs> I merged these into a tankard. This is supposed to be a tapestry because it's a quilt. Apparently it's a vault tech quilt. I don't know where I get got it from, but you know. So, um, yeah. This is very, very silly. It would look much better without the starfish on top, I guess, my opinion. But there we go. Uh, I have a few, um, yeah, heads and things around. We have the courtyard. I've used these doorways. This is from the mining set. It gives you this sort of porchy thing. <laughs> I've obviously made use of some of the vines in here. And obviously have all of my workbenches out here. I have my shelter. I This is actually Larry's lair from um, uh, the um, all the kind of roleplay tutorial things I did. So, because I'm a Nora and I am loath to get rid of it because you never know, Vlad and I might revisit that at some point. Um, I have a well. The way to get these on pavers is or on under foundations is to place it flame or trap it and then just put the foundation over the top the um the utility room entrance you can just put it any height you want and a foundation will just go over it have a few resources i did want to put or i tried to put the um the hanging rad stag meat thing but it is actually huge i didn't realize i suppose it's 
if you just put it down it doesn't look that big but when you try and put it in a small area it's problematic. Obviously I have my turret up here, it makes it a little bit safer, um, it doesn't stop it from being shot at but things like mole rats can't get to it. Have the tower up here, another repeat of this door. Um, I put a flag up, I actually put the meat week flag up because I'm assuming that wouldn't offend anyone. Um, although personally I prefer the fl pride flag. <laughs> Um, these crenellations are um, toolboxes. I actually merged two together to get rid of the, the kind of red side. I really wanted to use um, the small um, filing cabinet I thought would be good because it's more of a grey and black colour. But we do not have a small one that does not have a drawer sticking out. So, I mean, I could have merged two together, but they were just a bit... really need something square or squarish for this. So, yeah, if you want to try it with that, then... Yeah, I don't know why we have don't have a small one that's just like that, closed. I never really noticed before. Um, so... Whatever you want. I really struggled with... I didn't know what to put up here. Vlad actually suggested that I put Rapunzel up here. Then it <laughs> devolved to Princess Fiona. and uh, Yeah. Um, so I decided to go for Rumpelstiltskin. So I put the spinning wheel up here. But, you know, if you want to put another room up there, a bedroom. I mean, obviously it's quite small. It's not a particularly complicated build. The only thing you really need catwalks for is this offset here. Um, but you can do it without um, just by moving foundations by half. And if you haven't seen, I did a video about how to offset foundations by half and a quarter using um, pillars. So it is doable. Right, so now I will show you how I built it. So I'm going to start with lining up a foundation and I normally, if I'm building by a road, I try and um, line it up with the road. It just looks more natural. Uh, and getting the foundation height can be a bit tricky here. If you don't know where I am, this is Summersville down there. Overlook cabin, that is New Gad. I build here all of the time. <laughs> I will show you on the map. Here is Vault 76. So we are down here. Now, as I originally said, I wanted to... Um, do this three by three but I ended up having to do three by four so it is three deep and four wide. I always use a lined pattern on my starting foundations so that I know that all of the foundations are going in the right direction or in the same direction. I think this is a little bit high so I'm going to lower it a bit. Because this sort of raises up away from the road, the one at the back is the one you have to be careful of. If you have any greenery sticking through, just use some confetti to suppress it. Pretty much go around and every every just put walls all the way around to start with I guess. Oh, 
we have the tower which will be here i'm going to double wall that now because we are on over two foundations and then the interior part is here like so to get the staircase on where we want it going to use a catwalk here use a half catwalk take this foundation out because the staircase will not go over it but the staircase will go back in afterwards attach the stairs to the catwalk remove the catwalk you have a floating staircase you can put the floor back in like so and carry on adding some walls we're going to add the rest of the tower it is I double wall where I can to start with it's three stories like so This section is two stories, like so. Then we need another one here, half wall here, and because we're doing top wall arches, we're going to use the brick and there like that we also need top wall arches here go on go on okay we can add the upper floors by the way you notice the continuity cap there it's suddenly got a little bit darker if you mess this up you cannot take these floors off what you need to actually do is and what I actually did here was place another ladder put a foundation down and then you can remove these but as once you have these floating ladders you can't automatically remove the floors we are going to add another staircase and a half floor and a full floor and then a full floor in the go in <laughs> go in the right way thank you finally so that is pretty much the shell built we need to go around and double wall all of these single walls use a foundation or a catwalk whichever is easiest for you and just go around and double wall Right, I'm going to add the roofs. This one can be a bit tricky to get in. <laughs> OK. 
come on. Finally. Uh, for this one, I used the, um, I think the army base roof. Or you can also use the responders roof. They always do this while I'm building. We need to destroy the top wall arches. I tend to flatten the roofs to do this. Flame a trap or um, ask a friend to get in PvP with you and they can destroy them. the one with the half wall just stick it on a stash box the top wall arches I used the uh, brotherhood wall for the other side don't forget to double wall your half wall right Looking good. Almost there. I mean, pretty much now it is just decorative. Go to your camp widget and repair all, and it will repair all those broken top wall arches. And we just need to decorate. Go around and change all the walls to plain walls if you want them or if you're using them. For the um, slotted windows, I actually used the Brotherhood of Steel set. So it should be looking like this. Um, for the mine doorways with that porch over the top, you need to do it on the inside door. There we go. You can see by the shadow. <laughs> Whoops. I did put a foundation down by the front door. With steps. To do the crenellations, I 
I basically placed two of these toolboxes facing each other. I actually blueprinted it so they'd all be identical. You need three on each corner so that is 12. So it's a bit tedious. And just place them making sure you pick it up by the right side <laughs> place them like this it can be a pain to get them close enough Like so, obviously you'll do a better job than me because I'm trying to do it very quickly. For wallpaper I use the dungeon set, I think it's called, and I pretty much wallpapered the whole thing. Catacomb, catacomb wallpaper. Um, I did play around with using the Helvetia set um, because if you look at the bare walls um, for the sort of living area it has this kind of nice kind of medieval go the other way sort of wooden panelling on it wooden support but it meant that I lost the door which I wanted to keep this door um, so I decided in the end just to go and obviously also the slit windows if you do this side I mean you could just try doing these walls here it's up to you whatever you want to do so just go around and wallpaper the whole lot I mean if you don't have any of these build sets you could just single wall it with the brick or um, if you have it from last season or now the previous season because I finished this season and I've completely lost track of how many numbers we're up to 14 there is the um, I'm honestly starting to think that um, we would be much better off just having a tab for doors because it's much easier to change one of these um, you just then have all the sats it's, it's impossible to find anything yeah the army base wall would make a good castle I think it was in it was uh, last season or just the regular in-game brick it's completely up to you For the front door, I actually used the R.I.P. wall. It's one of the haunted house sets. I just didn't think that the mining set worked for the front door. I mean, if you wanted, you could put a double door in here. I have a blueprint for that. I will put a link down below if that's something you're interested in. Although, obviously, you have to fill around the edges. The floors were this, this is the dungeon floor, again everything was done the same. 
And the last thing I did was I changed these stairs up to the mining ramp. And that is pretty much it. I have done everything. So, I appreciate this isn't what I normally build, but sometimes, you know, it changes as good as a rest. <laughs> I like to mix it up sometimes. I really like this build. It is extremely easy to use. I don't like these white surrounds, so I'm just going to change that to the regular mine door to give that kind of scrappy wooden edge. Always oh, something you forget. <laughs> I like the insides of these roofs. That's the other reason I chose them. It's really easy to use. Everything is sort of close at hand. If you want a quick nap, um, all your workbenches are together. And yeah, it's quite easily defensible. As you saw, I, um, I put a floor, a quarter floor up here and, and stuck a turret on here. Stops more rats from eating your turrets. So, I hope you like the build. I hope this is something you want to have fun with and play with. That's all from me today. Thank you for watching.